was on the route clearance patrol, and I found a primary IED, and I found the second IED. Once I was getting ready to move to let my squad know about you know my findings, I stepped off and it blew up. By the time I tried to push myself up, you know, second, third attempt, and I realized that I couldn't get up, and I looked at my left hand and it was like pretty much barely hanging on. My family was notified the day after my incident. They were able to come out pretty much the day after that I got to Bethesda. When I woke up, they were, they were in my room waiting on me. A little bit um, after a month from my injury, I was at Waterloo doing rehab. I started walking within the first two weeks in uh, my, my short prosthetics. Within the next year and a half, I was already finished with therapy and I'm on my way out. I had a lot of challenges in traditional homes with my, with my dad. For the most part, he has um, about four steps in order to get to his house and then the step to, to get inside. And then it's so compact that um, I pretty much couldn't use my wheelchair. I had to leave it in the, in the truck. And as far as going into a bathroom, I would have to take my legs off and scoot around the house. Without having a shower chair, I've had a problem where I was trying to get out of the tub and my left wrist slipped off the, slipped off the edge and I kind of hit my head on the soap dish. I need to be aware of where my son is and be able to get to him you know, with, without problems. And if he's in a place where I can't just really excessively get to him, then you know, it, he could hurt himself and, you know, and I'm just, you know, really sad, sad about it because I couldn't do nothing about it because I couldn't get to him. The new home for Homes for Our Truths would be amazing for me. Um, all the space I need for me, my kids, and, and my family. As far as the bathroom goes with the roll-in shower, no problem, you know, with me pulling up and just hopping into the shower and, and coming out from the kitchen to where I'm able to just roll up under the sink and wash dishes or roll up under and cook them breakfast or lunch, you know, anything. And it's going to really put, you know, that sense of security that um, I own a home, my kids are in a good environment, and now what's the next step for me is to go out and, and provide and, and be, the, to be the dad that, you know, that my kids want me to be. I'm glad that I do live in a country where, you know, we have people that, that are out, you know, and they be like, you know, it, everything's for a good cause. For Homes for Our Truth, for recognizing the things that we've been through and the injuries that we sustain, being overseas, that it says a lot. They're really into supporting, you know, injured veterans. And I'm, I'm just thankful for everybody that's a part of this program. And, and I appreciate them and I just want to thank them.